Okay, good evening everyone. I'm at uh, Newark Polish War Cemetery. Um, getting dark, as you can see. A little bit weird. Uh, anyway, I'm here. Very, very special man. Uh, especially to the Poles, Jim Alton. Um, well, I met Jim not long ago. Um, my friend actually uh, was with him when he passed away. My friend was his carer. Uh, he actually died in my friend's arms six weeks ago, something like that. Um, took part in the Warsaw Uprising. Uh, flew for 50 minutes, 200 feet above Warsaw, getting constantly shot at. Uh, was so severely injured that he um, lost an eye and was 80% disabled on that very mission. Uh, he refused to quit. Um, and this is a very special man. He's buried with his wife. Um, just try and read this for you. Francis Jim Alton. Highly decorated RF hero, the 1944 Warsaw Uprising. He flew 37 combat missions as a bomb aimer on an American-built B-24 bomber with 178 Squadron RAF based in Italy, which included dropping supplies of weapons and ammunition to resistance forces in Yugoslavia and Poland. On the night of the 13th, 14th of August 44, he and his fellow crew members arrived over Berlin, Warsaw, their aircraft carrying 12 containers of weapons, ammunition and medical supplies desperately needed sorry, uh, desperately needed by the Polish Home Army fighting in the streets below. Unable to find the drop zone for some 50 minutes, they famously circled the city at low level looking for landmarks despite the heavy anti-aircraft fire and searchlights intent on destroying them. Finally, they recognised an area being held by the Polish resistance and released their precious cargo. Two nights later, they dropped another 12 containers into... Campinus Forest, just outside Warsaw, straight into the hands of the Polish resistance. Founder of the Warsaw Airbridge Memorial, located okay, nearby, and charity. There we go. Very famous man. His funeral um, was quite a thing to behold. There we go. Sorry, I haven't got my reading glasses. In memory of Jim Martin, who risked all to fly over Warsaw during those dark and desperate days, 1944, and to whom we owe a debt of gratitude for the Airbridge Memorial. Rest in peace. I'll just show you the memorial. Sorry, it's a bit weird because it's getting dark. <laughs> um, but here we go. So this is uh, your memorial. I don't know how well you can read it. I don't have a torch with me. This is just the torch on my phone. Here we go. So at Warsaw Airbridge Memorial, uh, in memory of... I think I'll say memory. Uh, the Commonwealth and Poland who sacrificed their young lives in desperate attempts to fly from distant RF bases in Italy with essential supplies for the front-line city of Warsaw during the 1944 uprising. Unfortunately, this is all fading. Erected in 1989 by the founders of the Airbridge Association, something, I can't remember that, registered English charity. So there we go. Jim Alton was a very, Alton, was a very uh, interesting man. So this is a man who, uh, say, only passed away a few weeks ago. Uh, he's written a couple of books. I, uh, his, his wife's buried there. It's a bit weird because his headstone... Had his, had his wife's details on and also his details except his date of death obviously it's not there at the minute because he's just been buried himself bless him uh, but um, yeah it was a bit weird seeing his headstone with that his date of death on it um, but anyway so there we go uh, so that is for all the, the Polish people out there